previously on Welsh Boy Abroad. How are we doing? Essentially a slight change of plan. I was on my way to Buttermere, which I can see the valley from here, but I went a different route to the last time along the Honiston Pass, which very much reminds me of the Thamberas Pass at Snowdonia. But I've just stopped in the car park. There's a I think it's an old slate mine and whatnot here. And I'd look at my old, very old map. How long ago did they charge £1.20 for an OS map? Had a look in there, and I believe that this peak in front of me is Fleetwith Pike. And it looks sick from here. So I might well just go for a quick little jolly. Not necessarily all the way to the top. It's starting to rain a little bit as well. But... The light is actually pretty good. So I'm going to have a little mosey round here. See what we get. So I think a lot of that light I was on about has disappeared. It's a little bit on the side there, but I want to be shooting that way. <laughs> hey ho, let's carry on. didn't take quite as long as I thought. Got to a bit of a crossroads, so to speak. Might be able to see around about there-ish. I think this that I'm walking on is an old sort of tram line from the slate quarries that are around here. I'm just carrying straight on so I can have a look at the valley on the other side. Um, otherwise I could go that way up to Fleetwick Pike or off up into hills the other way as well. I have to say, this side seems to be the far more popular <laughs> range today. Loads of people. It's like everyone queuing up to get to the top of Snowden. So I'm going to avoid that bit. Um, I believe over this way, these peaks over here. I think they are high stack and high something else as well. Uh, I can't remember the names, I'm not familiar. But you can see the mountain face over there. I've been trying to get a couple of shots of that reflected in the water on the path, which I don't know, it's a bit tricky. So it's such a thin layer of water there's a lot of rocks just poking up through the surface of it but you've got to give it a go haven't you
without even knowing it. I think I'm nearly there. So it's not as cold as I thought it would be either. I'm sweating like mad. I am glad I brought the Osmo instead of another G9. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Hey. Don't look down. <laughs> Ooh. I had no idea how high up I was. This probably isn't the highest pike by any means, but looking down, that's a gorgeous reflection down there. This lake here is Buttermere, and you see the line of trees on the far end, perfectly reflected at that moment. So I try and get a shot of that. I spoke too soon, didn't I? Literally, by the time I sat down. The weather's just rolled in. But I'll chill out here for a little bit anyway, so it'll probably clear up in a minute or two. Just like Snowdonia, the weather can change completely every 30 seconds, so it's nothing I'm not used to. Okay, I'm all the way back down. Nice little walk that was. Really enjoyed it. I needed it as well, I think. Just the fresh air pumping through your lungs. It's getting on for five, half five now. And I've not even really started <laughs> getting back down, really. So I don't think I'm going to bother with going down to Buttermere today. Maybe tomorrow, but I'm dead happy. I've seen a new side to Buttermere today. Uh, I have a feeling that I'm going to quite like a few of the shots from up here. Since I set off from the car park, all I've used is the Lumix G9 with the 35 to 100 Mark II, F.28, F2.8. Um, yeah, not needed to change lenses once. And using the Osmo, the audio might not be great, but it's a hell of a weight saving and I'm sure it's steady as anything even though a little bit laggy but yeah it's been a good day so I'm gonna head down get a shower have a pint and start editing some photos I think also all I've brought with me for editing is my iPad Pro which I've had maybe a month or so um, I'm really enjoying the process using Lightroom Mobile for my edits. Um, the only downside for me is that it relies on the cloud and my internet coverage is shocking. So I'm just using 4G all the time. But I really like the process. Even the last two weddings that I've shot, I've edited every single image, delivered probably seven or 800 photos through Lightroom Mobile and um, it's so easy, so intuitive, especially with the pencil as well. So either way, I'm yet to try editing a video on it. I have already bought and installed LumaFusion, so I might have a go, but I don't think I brought a micro SD reader with me. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm here for another day tomorrow before I head back the next day. So, whether I'll record anything tomorrow, I'm not too sure just yet. But, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And, I don't know if you've learned anything from it, but I hope you enjoyed it all the same. Um, if you'd like to see more, 
do hit subscribe down in the corner there and give it a like as well if you didn't like it you can give it a couple of dislikes I'm going to leave it there I'm going to get back to my b, &B. like I say hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one that's it